In this clip, we're going to talk about the different sizes of granulation that real salt comes in. It's all the same salt that we'll talk about. It's just different sizes of particle. The most common or most popular size is our fine size. This is the size that is typically found as a table salt. And as you can see here, it's just a nice, fine, consistent flake of salt. So this is the most common size is the 26 ounce pouch of the fine. We also have it in a shaker, which is nice to use the pouch to refill the shaker. And we've also got our new little restaurant friendly pocket shaker. This is a size that we've been asked for for years. It allows you to take the real salt with you wherever you go. The next most common size is a size called kosher. Now all of our salt here is kosher certified. There's a little symbol on the back of each package. It says OU. This is the Orthodox Union. This is an uh, organization that certifies the salt as kosher. Typically when a restaurant or a, a recipe or a chef calls for a kosher salt, they're not referring to a salt that's approved for the Jewish community. Typically they're meaning a size of crystal. This particular size of crystal is known as kosher salt. As you can see, this salt is about the size of a crystal that you might see on top of a pretzel or that you might see on the rim of a margarita glass. This is a little bit larger flake of crystal. And the reason this size is known as koshering is because the larger crystal will suck blood and juice out of meat faster than a finer crystal without making the meat overly salty. So again, when a recipe calls for kosher salt, you're not looking for the salt that's approved for the Jewish community, unless it's a Jewish cookbook. What you're looking for is a kosher sized salt, which is usually found in the name there. The next size is our coarse salt. This salt is a bit larger still, more like the size of a peppercorn. The most common use of this salt would typically be for a grinder. You can put it in a grinder and you can grind your fresh pepper and you can also grind salt right there at the table. Grinding salt doesn't make it any fresher. It's just more of a cosmetic thing. The nice thing is a lot of your salt mills today you can select a size. So if you want a finer flake on your uh, potato and somebody else wants a little bit more coarse, they can just adjust that right there. The other use for a larger crystal, whether it's the kosher crystal or the coarse crystal, is for things like prime ribs, baked potatoes. You can roll a baked potato in some olive oil, roll it in some kosher salt, it gives a nice little crunch. The kosher salt would also be used for things like edamame or uh, a lot of meat rubs would use the kosher salt. Then our last salt is about the consistency of flour. It's a very fine particle salt. This salt is great for popcorn. Uh, you can pop you up some popcorn, put some coconut oil on it, and then uh, just a little bit of the real salt powder makes a nice, makes the popcorn really pop. It's also great for pickling, for baking, for canning, for soups because it dissolves so quickly in, in water. The one thing with a powder salt, it's going to set up a little bit more. You can see some clumps here in this dish. Just a light tap will break those up, but it clumps because there's no, hasn't been heated or treated. Uh, none of the real salt has, which is why it's called real salt. It's just real salt.